So good morning Leash today, Snapchat. I am Bernard Rochford and I am taking over it again today for the National Ploughing Championships. They call it the Farmer's Picnic, so we're going to give you a flavour today of what's in store to be f uh, food, uh, cows, ploughing. Uh, we'll go to the bus train to get to see Marty Morrissey and uh, just give you a flavour of what's actually there for people to see and do. And along with my co-host Mary Phelan back here, there she is getting ready. We are going to do our best. Okay, and we'll, so we sat chatting out during the day and we'll talk to you later on. <laughs> okay, Vivan, what exactly are you doing? Really so they're going to get mucky anyway. Yeah, we're going to get a you, Okay, all about appearances. Yeah, exactly. Hi everyone, so B-Man might have said that I was his co-host, but in reality, off air, he told me I'm his loving assistant. <laughs> so I just need to send you to him straight before he takes over the Snapchat for today. Um, B-Man thinks he's the hottest farmer in Ireland. <laughs> he also thinks that he's the most cultured farmer in Ireland because he lived in Melbourne before, wore a suit to work and had like hot chocolate Living once. the dream, living the dream. <laughs> So, um, I am on a mission today to prove that B Man actually isn't the hottest <laughs> and is most certainly not the most cultured one. So, if there are any. Raw! Um, raw, raw is the word we're going to use. If there are any um, leash farmers at the plowing that think they can put it up to B Man, um, please do if you see us. Um, I'm happy to hand it over. If you see us in the jackets, <laughs> do come along. And he's oh. also very, very sexist because, like, I am more than a lovely assistant. <laughs> So I was Mary getting her two pence in there. I need her earlier. Get, 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 getting in early. Set, drawing the battle lines for the day. That's what she was doing there. But so start off a good ploughing day. So folks, this is the first thing you have to learn about the ploughing championships. Traffic. Every year, standard. First day, everyone wants to go early. Get in there early. It actually makes no difference when you get in there. But uh, this is what we're dealing with. Except it's not early. It's not early. Well, it's early enough, like. It's not. <laughs> this is not the time farmers go ploughing at. Okay, so Mary, but you're between jobs currently. How's that, how's doll life treating you at the minute? I'm, I'm like? officially between jobs. I I, how, how's that queue on a Tuesday morning in Port Leash, the post office, like? I've left my father and started a new one, and not on the door. Just... Yeah, look, listen, you call whoever you want, like. Why else would I be here with you if I didn't have two and a half weeks to go? Folks, we're parked up now. We are getting ready to head in, and the downstairs really building here. The crowds are flowing in. It's gonna be a good day. So folks, we are in and the crowd is massive it's only a half day in the morning. Look at this. Full already. So we're heading into the Irish Dairy Council Centre and we're going to sample some produce. Milk and cheese. So we're now at the heart of the Ploughing Championships, the headquarters. We have Farmer Beauty Therapy here in the Irish Farmer's Journal stall. No, no need to have bad nails. His new and improved model, Anthony. <laughs> yeah, it's a video, yeah. <laughs> Newer, younger, better looking. <laughs> So we're currently at the Shaggish stall here. We're doing an outdoor demonstration of grass management. And yeah, this is where your money is if you're a dairy farmer. So the different sections called are showing different covered grass and roadways and drink that as soon as possible and uh, and get that going again. Um, so in challenge well, how, about. Do we, how do we utilize the grass? Folks, number one stall at this year's Ploughing Championship is Josh. There's no show like a Josh. There he is, folks, all star in the way. And the queues are massive. So we're now, folks, in the Herefordshire Beef Tent, and it is pick your favourite arse time. Winner, winner, chicken, dinner. Look at that size of that lad. Folks, black beauty. Beautiful sister next door. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. So for, that's the mom, that's the lady we're like milker. So the system there is the cows essentially come in, milk themselves, and go back out to grass. And they're saying, for an average working dairy farmer has a 55 to 60 hour week. And with this system, they're saying you can decrease that down to 35 to 40 hour weeks. As you can see folks, it is stink hot here at the minute. The weather is looking good for that. This is drying out and Miggers wrinkles because we're like a Ray-Bans are absolutely... <laughs> folks, in a class of its own. Right folks, we're now going to literally the my high point of the day. The Richie Cabinet Tent. Where else do you want to go on a plough and shoes in the cabinet tent? Our man, David Kelly, the finest footballer. David, what do you say? You drinking or working? Oh, it's even working, actually. <laughs> <laughs> drinking is working. The man, the legend. We're at the Ken Black stand here on our way to the E111 to White Road. Ken Black, many good members there getting me presents. You want to come here and go and get something for the chung ones at home? This is a place to go. Ken Black's. Flat out to here. Okay, so the miniature tractors don't mean much to me, but there are Barbies and dolls and everything too, so you can also get presents for the girls, I guess. And it says that if you spend 25 euros, you get a free cap. Good deal. So folks, we're now at the Welly Throne here. Lee Superstar, Darren Strong, running the show down the back, playing up the field like he does for Emo. Okay, B-Man is all talk, but now we're going to see if he's all Yeah, just make sure it goes this direction. Terrible. Terrible? Terrible? You're too confident for that. It's if you're really terrible here. Yeah. Oh, you stepped over the line, cheating already. <laughs> Don't throw it forward anyway. No. <laughs> well done. That, that was an epic fail from Migger anyway there. Like horrendous effort of throwing that welly. You got to save yourself. It wasn't that bad, please. Poor enough now, to be fair. What was it? We're now going to see. So Stephen has a. Each day have a. a we're brand ambassadors for Renault and we're going to head up put up to their store now. See if we can do a plow and wheel and deal, maybe get him a second car. <laughs> Not that he needs it. <laughs> Get Steve in a second car, uh, get me a car, get Dean on a car, get Juliana a car. That's what we were going down for. Yeah, yeah. What, why go for one? He was two, he was three, he was four. So we're now at the Renault stand here. Each day, brand ambassadors for them. Some beautiful machinery here. So we have Key West here playing live inside, unbelievable. The umbrellas are a nice touch as well and everything. Mary's a big fan. So we have Key West here playing live inside, unbelievable. The umbrellas are a nice touch as well and everything. Mary's a big fan. Yeah, there is like a shades of the alleyway between um, Coppers and Camden Street. <laughs> Same crack. <laughs> no garage it has Key West, a slide, new cars. Jeez, what more do you want? Okay, so you probably think we're going a bit overkill on the Renault stand, but I'm actually so impressed. It's got a hipster vibe. You can get tea or coffee, very handy, and all proceeds go to Kate House. We're out here now with Brendan and Green, and we're going to go through a bit on the actual plowing side of the plowing championships. The under 28 conventional class. Brendan's just going to go through a bit of what he was doing today and what it takes to be a plowman at the plow championships. Yeah, so uh, yeah, you can see just in front of us there where I did my middle and, and, and uh, the eights on each side of it. So it's the right people really on the street. And uh, basically, then just to let the middle off and the neighbourhood and keep going. Basically, you have to be able to take four out of the right and put it in and put it on the left of the rock. The each side then each four has to be built. Tyson for um, 
for Cody Leash and it was great to see what it's all about. So thanks very much, Brendan, for that. Big thank you to Stephen Miller for giving us a Snapchat today. Um, we had great crack doing it, so I'll just say my piece and then I'll hand over to Mary to say her goodbyes. We've, uh, no, we've had some crack doing it and seen loads, we could have seen so much more. So hard work to, work to, work to know to go. The crowds were amazing, there was a great atmosphere here and it really is the place to be. So for me, thanks very much and talk to you again. I don't have anything to add. Um, thanks Stephen Miller again for having me and um, thanks for watching. Finish like it's a super super day out. I think everyone can really agree on that, and I hope more people that have seen the flavour of what we brought for today will give you the taste of uh, want to go yourselves and really soak it in because there's two more days left of it, and it's just uh, it's a wonderful, really good Irish experience. Biggest outdoor event in Europe. Why wouldn't you want to go?